Good morning, Latinos for Trump. My name is Marco. I am a Mexican American. And I support Donald J. Trump for President of the United States of America. Happy Sunday, everyone. Hope you're having an awesome, awesome, awesome Sunday. And uh, good morning, Josephine. Good morning, Maggie. Morning, Samuel. Go, Trump. Donna, good morning. <laughs> Donna, you know, I, I'm very new of all this, but I think as the November 8th gets close, there's pressure that builds up. And I think this is where the men separate from the boys. And this is where we have to put uh, our long sleeve pants and leave the shorts to the side. <laughs> uh, so through Marty, Mary Marty. Sergio Gutierrez. Hey, ¿qué pasó, primo? What's up? Uh, Viva Trump. Joseph, what's up? Good morning. So, I don't know if you guys saw this morning, but Hillary Clinton had a... a um, she had a medical episode. <laughs> I mean, she's had a lot of them, but this one was a little crazy. Um, I remember I used to have those when I used to drink a lot. <laughs> when I used to drink a lot, all of a sudden I would just collapse sometimes. Sometimes, not all the time. Um... You know, the topic of today's uh, the, today's topic is that in life, we are not going to be punished by our actions, but it is our actions that will punish us. And I had already, in another video, I had already said, that as humans, by nature, we are good people. By nature, we're, we're all born, you know, we were all little kids. I have a three-year-old, she's so cute, you know. We were all nice. We were all beautiful. We all had um, the uh, energy and, and the, we had the courage to be everything we wanted to be. And something happened. Something happens when we grow up and some of us go left, some of us go right. And there's a lot of us that turn to the dark side. Now, there's, I'm not here to judge anybody. That, um, we all... We all have done wrong things, bad things in our lives. But the, the thing is that when you do not come to terms with yourself, when you don't come to terms and, and when you don't admit and when you don't come to believe that there, there is a power greater than yourself, that only God can restore your life to what it was, or what it should have been always. This is what happens. And um, 
when I was at the Good morning, Mary. When I was at the um, National Republican Convention, there was this man. He told me he had been to 13 conventions. Can you imagine? So there every four years, 13, that's 40 years, times three, 12. He had been 52 years going to Republican conventions. He was probably the most wise man of everybody. And he, would just, he was just quiet in a couch. And then I got to go and talk to him. And I can't remember his, uh, his name. And I know he gave me his business card and I don't know where it is. But I want to talk to that man. Because that man is probably one of the wisest men when it comes to... Um, this uh, this election process, okay? So, so check this out. So I asked him, I said, well, what do you think about the convention? He said, well, it's, it's too early to tell because it was Tuesday when I was, Tuesday night. And, and I said, well, what do you think about Hillary Clinton? And he's like, well, I, she's a liar and she's a this and she's that. He was, he was telling me all the things that we know about Hillary Clinton. And I told him, but, but isn't she a human being too? Because if Hillary Clinton is a human being, like you, like me, we know that being good, it's good to be good. And I also know that if I'm bad, it's bad. If I do bad, it'll be bad for my health. It'll be bad for my spiritual. Uh, it will be bad for uh, my moral compass. And, and like I was telling you the other day, in all the movies, when you have the, wick, the wicked witch of the West, it always looks bad. And the wicked witch of the West, when they throw water at her, meaning like when they, if you bring the wicked witch of the West to the truth, she'll dissolve. Because that's what the water represents. It represents purity. Right? So... What we're doing, me, you, and everybody else, talking about uh, Hillary Clinton, let's not hate Hillary Clinton. Let's just bring light to her. Let's just bring the truth and, and, and show her, look, this is what the truth is, Hillary Clinton. And she's going to dissolve like the wicked witch of the West. That is my take. Okay? So... Yesterday, I was going to do a video, but I ended up not doing it. But about the deplorable basket, basket of deplorables. One, I don't even know what deplorable means because English is my second language. It took me a while to find out what she meant by calling me Taco Ball. So there was somebody that said that 50% 50, 50 of Donald Trump supporters were very mad that Hillary Clinton called them basket of deplorables. And the other 50% were looking in a dictionary to see what that means. <laughs> well, um, yeah, Christopher, she is losing her own election by herself. And that's why I used to tell a lot of people, especially the anti-Trump movement. And so, you know, it's very destructive. It's very destructive to be anti-anything. Rather, you should be pro whatever you believe in. If most of those anti-Trump would go and do pro Hillary, they would have better results. But they're not going to because they're full of anger. It's, it's evil. See, the problem with evil, guys, is that evil, evil doesn't amplify it the way that the good does. If you put a candle in a dark room, all evil will see that candle. And that candle will, will be hope. Just one candle in a dark room. 
And everybody will look at the candle and, and it will guide everybody. Well, if you put in a, light, in a room full of light, you put a candle of darkness, just, it doesn't do anything. So evil always ends up in competition with itself. Good always helps itself be better. And I think that's the energy that Donald Trump has. The energy that Donald Trump has is an energy of, uh, of edification, to edify, to construct, not to destroy. Sadi, thanks for your dedication. No, th thank you guys. Thank you for allowing me to be of service. I, I told everyone I am not going to stop talking until Donald Trump is in the White House. I am 100% committed. The media, MS media is trying to silence me. My friends have turned their back, their back on me, some of them. I feel um, Latinos for Trump has broken into two. I don't know if you guys know that. I put up a memorandum. I need more volunteers right now. We have a lot of volunteers, but, and it's okay. The pressure is building up and we're starting to, some people are starting to break. And I hope you guys don't break. Please don't turn your back on me, guys. Don't break. This is where we have to speak louder. This is where we join hands. This is where we show Hillary Clinton what we are made out of. Okay? So... Anna Sophia. Thank you, Anna Sophia. You know what, guys? If you think I am doing a good job, I am just a simple citizen with no qualifications of any kind, but the experience of life. And for I've been I've been through so much, I have taken so much crap from so many people that I'm sick and tired. I'm tired of being tired of you staking the shit that Obama has been throwing at us. Yes, I, I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna do another page uh, and then uh, uh, do volunteer work. But let me just tell you what's going on. So we are. We need to take the deplorable challenge. Yes, I am deplorable because I want a better future for my kids. Yes, I want deplo I am deplorable because I have my allegiance with Donald J. Trump to help him make, a better, make America better again. Great again. America first and great again. So check this out. Um, Newsmax did this article of nine possible conditions that Hillary Clinton suffers. Okay? Let's go over. You probably already know, but let's see what you guys think of them. So Hillary Clinton has nine possible conditions she suffers from. Good morning, Andrea. First one is asthma. Asthma is the second most common reason for chronic cough. Nearly 19 million have asthma. The American Lung Association says asthma can also cause shortness of breath and wheezing, but sometimes cough is the only symptom. And you cough and cough and cough like the pig, no, like the lion that blew the pig's house, and you cough and cough and cough. Um, so what do you think about the asthma thing? You guys, th you guys think she has asthma? Thank you, Cynthia Moreira. I'll stay strong. I don't break. I've been through so much crap, guys, that I am sick and tired, tired of being tired of letting the government walk all over me. And I'm not going to allow them to do that anymore. And I hope you don't either. 
She can steal the presidency. Tuberculosis. Team Trump, California. Yeah. Okay. The second, allergies. Allergies are a reaction of the immune system which can cause symptoms such as sneezing, itchy, and watery eyes, and a runny nose, and coughing. Many people with asthma suffer allergies, but allergies can occur alone. It can be treated by indoor, like mold or outdoor irritants, such as pollen, can be triggered by that. Allergies and asthma can often occur together. Check it out. So you know how she says that her, it's allergies, all her coughing thing, and that she's allergic to Donald Trump. <laughs> That's how she, um, she makes fun of Donald, uh, makes fun of herself like that. No doubt her writers have told her to do that. When I was in the car business a long time ago, guys, a lot of the car salesmen, especially the very successful ones, they were all doing drugs. <laughs> and they were calling sick. And they would say that they had uh, allergies or they had walking pneumonia or they, they would just make up all kinds of stuff. Well, we all knew they didn't have any of that. We knew what was, what was going on. And, and Hillary Clinton, she thinks she's so smart and we're going to take it like, yeah, she has allergies. Yeah, right. Uh, allergies. It's not even pollen season. It's like the end of uh, summer. Parkinson's, dementia. She's a sociopath. <laughs> Good morning, Rebecca. She's being controlled by puppets. <laughs> okay, so number three, acid reflux, gastro, gastroesophageal reflux disease. GERD occurs when the stomach acid backs up into the esophagus and blah, blah, blah. Irritation caused by the symptoms can result in a cough. That's pretty pretty bad. Number four, sinus problems, sinus infections, post-nasal drip. Number five, bronchitis, inflammation of the long airways, shortness of breath, wheezing. Six, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Good morning, Mary. Thank you for the prayer you sent me. I really needed a diet. Eh? Thank you. Actually, I'm getting ready to go to church in a little minute, in a little bit here. Uh, she almost fainted, Mary says. Yeah. Well, going back to what I asked this old man. So I said, that, I mean, she's human. Doesn't. How can she sleep with all the shit she's done, you know, with all the stuff? And, and he said, well, I don't think he, she feels anything. But I think so. I think that karma karma comes back and says, hey, um, it's time to pay back. Um, number seven, upper respiratory infection. Number eight, high blood pressure from drugs. A class of drugs used to treat high blood pressure can... Boost chronic cough. Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's disease can sometimes cause coughing um, because people with condition have difficulty clearing their throat. So there you have it. Nine possible uh, symptoms um, of what's going on. The concerns of well care of hair are serious. They're qualified as serious. This seriously disqualifying hair. 
Uh, nearly 71% of 250 physicians responding to an infor informal internet survey by the Association of the American Physicians and Surgeons, about 20% said concerns were likely overblown, but should be addressed as a full release of medical records. Only 2.7% responded that they were just a political attack on her. The thing is whether it is something. I mean, it, it's not a conspiracy theory anymore. She coughed for 10, she coughed for 10 minutes. So there is something that is going on. Uh, that's why she doesn't want to do any press. I, I don't know. I mean, I've seen... Uh, I've seen movies where they hide this thing. You remember the movie The Avi The Avi Aviator with um with this guy what's his name um The Aviator where uh I can't remember his name. But in The Aviator that guy had that uh that thing that he would go about a month. He had like this OCD that that he just had the seizures and couldn't talk to anybody for a whole month. But he was a genius um, with Leonardo DiCaprio, the aviator. Watch that movie. It's so awesome. Um, she froze when protesters yell at her. Anna Sofia, she seems so sick, frail, corrupt, lies, gritty. I think that things are catching up with her. Leonardo DiCaprio, yeah. Um, so, to be honest with you, I really don't know enough of Mr. Kane, the, the, the potential vice president for Hillary Clinton, but he doesn't seem like he's the brightest guy, the brightest star on the sky either. So. If something happens, if if Hillary Clinton collapses, because the it's remember we're 58 days. Every day the pressure is gonna be building up to infinity, to infinite, to infinity. And um, I don't think she's gonna. I don't think she's gonna hold. I, I don't think. <laughs> I think pretty much game's over, guys. I don't know. You guys tell me. Hey, good morning, Alex. Uh, you guys tell me, pretty much game over. I, I, I can't see Hillary Clinton holding up to the pressure that she's about to face in the next 50 something days. Shoot, I, I, I'm, I can't hold the pressure and, I'm only, <laughs> and I only do like, like a video every other day and, and I'm feeling the freaking pressure, guys. I don't know about you. How's this lady gonna hold? I mean, do they think we're that stupid? They think we don't know that. I mean, we see the person that's talking. She is, it's not there. I mean, she, something's wrong with her. Um, and if something's wrong with her like that, that means that her daily, uh, her commitment to be four years the commander-in-chief of the greatest nation of, uh, of the world with all these problems that we have, uh, there is no way. A president should go into the White House full of health. Because those four years are going to be like 20. That person, to me, doesn't seem like can last to Christmas. Did you see the van that they pick her up on? I used to sell cars when I, you know, those vans, I sold them when they had somebody that was disabled. 
they would always get a dark van uh, so that they could uh, put all that uh, accommodations to have a, a wheelchair or, or, or a bed or whatever, or however they're going to... Uh, uh, that van that, they, that picked Hillary Clinton is not a executive, uh, modern executive normal vehicle. It's almost like a mini uh, ambulance, a private mini ambulance. Yeah, or tax of oxygen or things like that. What's up, Martin? Yes, a private ambulance, uh, Guadarrama. <laughs> Alex says they call that conspiracy theory evidence. Yeah. Yeah, they they think we're stupid. Basically, let's put it that way. They think we're stupid. They think, um, <laughs> what's that saying? Um, they're pissing on us and they're telling us to dance because it's raining. And an unmarked ambulance. Something's wrong with grandma. Oh, Jorge Ramos. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So on here, there is Alex, a, a man that I met through the internet. Uh, he knows, if you, if you guys are not his friend, please friend him. He is uh, uh, a, a guy that came from Cuba. And he knows so much about uh, socialism and, and how they're turning our country into something that if we don't do something about it, it's going to be too late. And um, they don't call it socialism, but it is. It, it's, it's a design, uh, they're socially designing something that's it's, it's gonna be very hard for us to, to, to turn around. Um, Jorge Ramos right now, outside his office and, and um, Laurel or whatever he did. There is a bunch of Latinos and Latinas for Trump doing a protest. So hashtag Latinos with Trump, hashtag Latinos for Trump, Cubans for Trump. And if you are one of them, send us picture so we can help you bring this over. But this is directed to Jorge Ramos. And Jorge Ramos is, is the, the man that needs to be brought to light just like Hillary Clinton. And I will not stop. Let me repeat that. I will not stop until I see Jorge Ramos coughing like a pig. Because that guy is also going the same tunnel. Jorge Ramos, you can see it in his face. That guy has turned to the dark side. And soon, he's going to start coughing. That's my take on that. I've been trying to interview Jorge Ramos or just hitting at him. And you know what? At least I got Jorge Ramos to talk about my taco truck coming. So Jorge Ramos did a special on the taco truck. So he knows who I am. He knows I'm there. And my wish for Christmas is to have Jorge Ramos five minutes. Five minutes so I can tell him that he has been interfering in the normal integration process of Hispanic immigrants for years. That he's hurting a, our communities, that our communities are being taken advantage because people like Jorge Ramos 
and George Lopez continue to put us in a situation where we live in a subculture environment, where we think it is normal to live in undocumented society, an undocumented society, and people have no urgency to integrate into the culture. Half of those people that are illegal, they are eligible to get their, doc their documents and legalize themselves, but they don't do it. And you know why they don't do it? Because they don't have to. Because they cash their check at the Mexican market, they buy their 12 pack of beer there, they go back to their house, they go to work, they don't have to speak English there, they come back, and that's it, they watch TV in Spanish, and they, they believe everything Jorge Ramos is saying, that the white man is out to get him. My dad believes everything Jorge Ramos says, and that pisses me off. But you know what Alex was saying, and go and follow Alex. He was saying that Univision has lost about 50% of their viewers. They used to have 3.5 million, and now they're saying that they're, they have less than 2 million. They're saying 2 million, but it's less. It's probably like a million. So Univision is about to go belly up, or if not, they are belly up already. And I think that that has a lot to do with Jorge Ramos' mentality. Because Jorge Ramos, I feel bad for him sometimes. He has not integrated in the culture. Talk to him. He doesn't seem like an American. He says he's American and Mexican. But to me, he doesn't seem like an American. An American person is somebody who likes, uh, who, who likes, you, to integrate in the culture. Because one thing is to be bilingual, guys. Another thing is to be bicultural. You get me on that? I can be bilingual, speak your language. But if I want to be bicultural, I need to learn how to do barbecues and invite my neighbors. I need to learn how to, you know, go to the game and Raiders, 49ers, I need to go to church, I need to become part of the community, I need to be uh, in the uh, PTA at school, I, I, I need to be part of you guys, if I want to be that. Now, you, so you, you're either bilingual, bicultural, or bisexual. <laughs> no, that, that was just a joke, guys. <laughs> Alex, um, what's his last name? Alex, what's your last name? Alex, uh, let me see. Alex. Yes, but if you, if you befriend Alex and if you follow his uh, teachings, Alex is the man. Alex knows more about than any politicians, politician I know. In fact, today I was going to be in, in, in Miami and I wanted to take Alex for lunch um, so I can pick his brain and... Um, and help my community, uh, help my community identify all, all the, the crap they're feeding us. Alex, Alex Gonzalez. So, Alex Gonzalez, let me, let me show you right here. That's him right there. He is the man, guys. Okay, so hit him up. Um, that guy knows, I think he should run for office one day. And if he does, I support him. Um, I hope one of these days I can buy, lunch, I buy him lunch and then sit, sit down with him because he was born and raised in Cuba. So <laughs> nobody knows more than what it is to be in a socialist, uh, in a socialist uh, nation. Um, 
Jorge Ramos belongs to the Hispanic or liberal media and only reports what's convenient of Hillary Clinton. Uh, Right. Okay. So, guys, I got to go to church, but um, awesome, guys. Happy um, happy Sunday, and uh, don't forget to pray for the victims in 9-11. And uh, Hillary Clinton, I hope she lasts to Christmas, but I don't think so. The pressure that she's about to be faced with, I think will crush her. I think uh, I think it, it, something's gonna happen there, and I don't wish her bad. I, I wish, actually, you know, you guys remember Elvis Presley? If you guys watched the story of Elvis, that guy, we killed him, basically, because we made him do things that he wasn't healthy enough uh, to, to take anymore. And I think that Hillary Clinton, her supporters are killing her because they're pre they're putting pressure on her to do something that I don't think she is capable of do to do anymore. Uh, I think that if she is a, a, uh, a spiritual person, she needs to to come to terms with uh, with reality and accept. Remember that humility is the ability to accept reality, and, and I accept reality. I accept reality that I am who I am, and. Uh, there's a lot of a strength that comes with that. And uh, I don't think Hillary Clinton has accepted many things from her um, marriage scandals to her, her uh, she has been forcing her, um, her, her will. Um, I mean, they, <laughs> I was watching a documentary. This Clinton family has been on so many freaking scandals. God, they're like a they're like a Mexican soap opera in motion or something. It's just so much stuff, but uh, there's nothing better than be with a clear uh, conscience, guys. There's nothing better than to have dinner around your kids with a clear conscience. And... Um, I don't think that Hillary Clinton can say that. But that's uh, that's for another day. I love you guys. Hope you have a great day. Um, take care. And talk to you soon. Let's make America great again.